Let's take a look at this problem. We got 2 over 5x minus 1 tenth plus 1 half. Okay, now our first step is to get a common denominator. And let's do that over here. So we got the LCM of 5x, 10, and 2. So our first step, we'll write the prime factorization of each one down. Now it's 2 is prime, so we don't have to do anything there. 5 is prime, and we only have 1x, so that's 5 times x. And 10 is 2 times 5. So then to figure our LCM, we'll take each, I'll start with the numbers. So I'll start with 2, and I'm looking for the greatest number of 2's on any single line. None here, one here, one here. So the greatest number of 2's on any single line is 1. Now I go to my 5. Now I'm looking for the greatest number of 5's on any single line. One here, one here, none here. So the greatest number of 5's on a single line is 1. Now I go to the x. I'm looking for the greatest number of x's on any single line. There's one here, none here, none here. So the greatest number of x's on a single line is 1. 2 times 5 is 10 with an x. So that's going to be our LCM or our least common denominator. So we're going to rewrite each fraction with that new denominator. Okay, now our first one. It already had the x, so that, that's still there. But we have a 5. We multiplied it by 2 to get to 10. So we're going to multiply the top part by 2. Whatever you multiply by the bottom, you multiply by the top, and vice versa. Now our second fraction here, we already had 10, that's there. Looks like we multiplied the bottom part by x, so we have to multiply the top part by x. Now this one here, let's start with a number. We have 2, we ended up with 10, so we multiplied it by 5. So we multiply the top part by 5. Now this didn't have an x down here, so we multiplied the bottom part by x, so we have to multiply the top part by x. Okay, let's see what that gives us. 2 times 2 is 4 over 10x minus 1 times x is x over 10x plus 1 times 5 is 5 with an x over 10x. Now our second step. Now that we've got a common denominator is add together all your top parts. And let me go ahead and put them together into a single fraction to begin with. So we've got 4 minus x plus 5x over 10x. We'll see this more in coming um, uh, chapters, but uh, like terms is where you have the same variable to the same power. See how these are x the first power? Well, you can combine the numbers in front of them. So this is invisible 1 here, so that's like negative 1 plus 5, which gives us 4x. And then this 4 just carries along. Over 10x. Now there's a little bit more simplifying we could do to that problem, but uh, we're not going to get into it in this, um, this particular section. So that's our answer.